At the end of the day, it's not who we are. Who we are is the team that dug down deep, hard, and pulled that game back and won the game. That's who we are. We let our soccer do the talking. We don't go ahead and engage in all this other stuff. That's what makes us different than everyone else. Because we play with a system, because we play with integrity, because we play hard, because we play for each other, because we play for the badge that's on our chest. That's what makes us, makes us different. Uh, Moosebaugh uh, FC is named uh, after uh, uh, Moosebaugh, one of our players from the, the original class uh, that came in 2010. Um, uh, I didn't name the team, um, but he sort of had that magnetic personality that people sort of rallied around him. And, and early on, uh, I think we used to take bus rides back and forth uh, to our training uh, site. And there was a lot of joking and fun and camaraderie. And then I think people just started saying, hey, uh, you know, uh, Moose Bot, uh, well, well, let's, let's, let's call ourselves Moose Bot FC. And with regard to the, the culture, I think it's as simple as just trying to find uh, a community that people can belong to, that they can find support from, um, from each other, uh, and, and, to, and, and to some extent, me, you, know, you know, can I provide some degree of role modeling uh, moving forward, uh, and then use sports to teach life lessons. Um, you know, I'm sensitive to the fact that, you know, we're in a unique place. Almost everybody here, this isn't their home, especially on the soccer team, this isn't their home. So can I provide some degree myself and Scott, some degree of stability, some, some sort of anchor where students can go to to feel that they're grounded a bit? I think some will joke that I'm their naughty uncle or their fun uncle and the head coach will be like their father figure. Um, but yeah, essentially I see my role as being uh, just a support system away from home and somebody that should have any issue in as a football player or as a person, then I'm there to be a source of advice or guidance um, and really just an, a shoulder to cry on, shoulder to lean on, any, any support, any, any help I can lend them, then I will tend to do that. I think the phrase is often said is like, um, you know, brothers and sisters, uh, we, we run one program, we don't finish things for men's and women's, it's one program, brothers and sisters, and trying to help each other out um, and support one another, look out for one another. It is a family, so uh, the friends that you make uh, on and off the pitch is just incredible, the bond that happens, and that's the reason I wake up every morning, just to be with my friends and play. We always do the girls, at least, the girls team, we always do bonding activities outside just to get a bit closer to each other. And I've known the football guys since the very beginning, since when we started. Uh, so I would say that I'm very close to, to both women's and boys' team. It's definitely accomplished by the presence of a father figure and Coach DC. So he very much placed that emphasis since we got here. He calls us brothers and sisters for the men's and, football, men's and women's football teams. and. Um, the way he approaches it as a family, it makes us approach it as a family as well. And it's, it's really easy to draw that, that parallel when you're away from your family, when you're away from home. And uh, it, makes it, it makes it homey here. It, it grew to be sort of a legend. A lot of people don't know where it, com where it came from. A lot of people don't know who Muzba is. People think it was assigned by the school, which it wasn't. It was just, it was just the name it took. And, um, what it means now is I think it means carrying on the tradition. If you show up to one practice, if you show up to, to one game, you, you remember the family. If you show up to intramurals and you play with us one time, if you come support, like everyone's welcome. It's not an exclusive thing, not in the slightest.